Welcome back to Rock and Food. Today, I'm in the hood. I'm in Newtown in Sydney, where all the cool cats are. I'm meeting P Smurf. Now, P Smurf's been one of our top independent Aussie hip hop artists for many, many years now. And I've also got the privilege of joining him in a record label called Scratches Records. Today we're at his favourite Thai restaurant where he used to celebrate as a kid and then through his teenage years when he had something cool, he celebrated here. We're gonna go in and get into his heart, his mind and his stomach. Come and join me. Yeah, RP, DMB, v, remember me yeah, until hey, you hey, you How are you, mate? Yeah, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Takotam. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here today. P Smurfs here. Yes, he's here. He loves his family and sports. He's a hot party with Chile. Can't wait, mate. Thank you so much for having us. I'll go and see him and I'll see you on the way out. Thanks, buddy. Buddy. What's going on? How are you, man? Good, brother. Yourself? Good, good. Good, good to see you, man. Good yeah, to see you. Thanks for inviting us out. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for being part of this. No worries. I'm really hungry, actually, man. Looking good. forward to it. <laughs> you haven't eaten all week. No, I've been starving myself just for this perfect moment so we can just smash as much as possible. Well, I've spoken to Nick and he's got some beautiful food coming beautiful, in. Beautiful, man. Look so, welcome. Thank you, my man. Thank Appreciate you. it. I heard they said they saw your head in the clouds. Look, come again. I got my two feet firm on the ground. So, fuck the fame. Buckle up and take note of it now. I only do reserve some time for joking around this overcrowded boat broke down close to the coast but still floating only hope is that you don't drown i'm about to occupy this whole bloody nation of ours taking the bow shout it out when i open my mouth holding it down for the heads in the front row holding it down all the people kicking back at home holding it down folks traveling across the globe holding it down oh yeah so this is your one bye guys this is my signature dish Cranberry steamed seafood. Wow. Yeah, it's one of the most popular dish. No doubt. No this doubt. is unbelievable. Right there. Well, I don't Sorting think, this out. I don't think they bring this one out for everybody. Yeah. Wow. So what do we got here? We have corn, skull, mussel and squid. Wow. Lovely. Awesome. This is amazing. My first house I moved out in Newtown, chili basil was signature lunchtime. 12 o'clock, $6 Thai meal. Why Newtown? Why has it resonated so well with It's you? just always been a really diverse, arty community of people and, you know, extended, you know, colourful place, vibrant place. My parents did run a record store, Scratches Records, which we are now delving into in 2019. But they did have the record store on the north end of King Street. Tell me about what attracted you to music in the first place. What, what did you love about hip hop and when did that start? Got into hip hop pretty much 2000 to maybe 99. 28 Days hosted Rage and they played Tribe Called Quest, Can I Kick It? And that literally just changed my whole perspective on, you know, music. I, I was a punk kid and growing up in Newtown, a bit of a punk and a goth, you know, I was loving No FX and Marilyn Manson and Korn. I guess Limp Biscuit might have got me into a little bit more of the rap scene. They just had a funk and a force to it, yeah. but it was sort of positive in the sense they were able to communicate, but it still had the heaviness and hardness of, of punk and rock, because I don't, they still had crew back, back in each other, you know, it was still like groups of people, you know, in their own clique and squad, you know, a crew, um, but, I, it just had this other way to be able to communicate. It just had this really light-hearted vibe to it while still having a strength that I found in, in other types of music and punk and rock. But what was the tipping point when you actually, I, I know that you say you were into hip-hop music, but when did you actually know you were good at performing hip-hop music? The, when the culture formed in the 70s, graffiti, breakdancing, MCing, DJing, they all became hip hop, and it was all a way to be able to rep your crew, rep your area, and rep your fam. So when I got into graffiti art, I was no good at it. And I think that was kind of like, I, it's taken me 20 years to start writing stuff that I actually like, and I still piece. And, but, you know, I just never felt that natural affiliation. As soon as I started rhyming, people were like, you're actually really good at this. And I vibed out on it, I really appreciated it. So I started doing more rhyming and writing and skewed away from graffiti a little bit, but always kept that in the background as well, you know? 
Shame on the folk who say no, now shame on the folk who lay low You say something to Ryder and they go, hey mate, jump this side when I say so And I'll chuck you a couple of pesos You say I ain't in it for pay bro, they say fuck your man, I wanna make dough Hey Joe, what's cracking? I hope you're ready for some action Imagine a place with no clean water Store the families cramming the borders All this tragedy off in the distance Take one blink and you miss it You can't make me think my resistance Doesn't make one bit of a difference See, Tell me about uh, Peace Murph Where did Peace Murph come from? How did it start? Peace Murph was born in Newtown High School in the early 2000s. We started a crew called Reverse Polarities. I started rhyming with a crew a couple of years older than me, so I was in year nine, and I was a blue shirt, so the juniors were all blue shirts. The seniors called them Smurfs, so we were all just little blue shirted Smurfs yeah, right, running around. Right. But my crew, Reverse Polarities, that I started rhyming with, when they were, became seniors, and they'd call us, Smurfs, but because I was still hanging around with them and rhyming and freestyling and you know Chilling out with the older crew. They call me Papa Smurf and they reckon that through Newtown High There was a Papa Smurf every five or six years that would come about and, and don the name So they gave it to me because I was this little midget dude and there was like even a really classic photo that I got to dig out from my mate old mate Liam he's got it but it was just me standing in the toilets with like six dudes in white shirts all having durries and I'm yeah. just down the front yeah, yeah, in a blue right. shirt like half the size of them smoking a little cigarette in their school toilets and I reckon that was when Peace Murph was born. That's so an album like, cover there. Yeah, potentially, yeah. <laughs> My tongue is a muscle, I gotta flex it. Checklist, ticking the best kid to mess with this Peace Murph. If you wanna pop a head trip, no care, end up intensive, expensive as Medicare in about 10 years, stiff shit kid. Let's have a picnic with teddy bears, run around anywhere, getting heat split off a weed hit. Three sips of this drink, end up in deep shit. Hope you're keeping it coming, I gotta get it unapologetic, call an apology. Pathetic, automatically arrogant, like a copper on cocaine. Ha, where yeah. do you think the spice came from? Was that mum, dad? Where, where did that come from? Uh, and to tell you the truth, I reckon it was from Tabasco sauce, and it was from like sculling Tabasco sauce at a young age to try to like impress, you know, my sister and her friends and everyone like that. I was like, yeah, this kid's tough. Oh, we got more. Oh, oh my god. Fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Where's Peace Move from 2019? What's the future for Peace Move? Well, I've got, I've been writing heaps since I dropped playing the blues last year. So looking forward into the future, I've just really been enjoying writing heaps, working on beats, trying to get my skills up on production and recording and, um, you know, comping my own music, just working on enjoying the writing process. But setting up for releases I've been collabing with a lot of different artists like a lot of different producers just trying to find the nice sound that I want to launch with next um, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the works Silent Titan this amazing producer used to be in Thundermentals back in the day he's given us a stack of about 12 amazing beats that I'm working on um, I've got a few written up with him Working with Sarek from Def Wishcast, yeah. Do you start with a lyric or do you start with the beat? I start with the beat. I always write over a beat, I, right. if I can. Sometimes you're going to be stuck on the train and you don't have your headphones yeah, yeah. or something like that and you just want to pen lyrics. But I prefer writing over a beat so I can know where to land my lyrics and where to put the emphasis and snap it on the kick and the snare. You're laying this lyric here. So if you're writing to a beat, it always changes where I'm going. So if I can find a producer that I really connect with, then that's like, okay, we're on now. So I've been writing over all this different stuff for the last seven months, but I linked up with Tommy Fiasco with Silent Titan and it was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do next. Like I knew that those were the beats that I needed to come through with next. Tell me about your favorite fast food experience. Where around the world have you had your best experience with fast food? Oh, really? Anywhere in the world? Anywhere in the world. Well, I guess going back to Thailand, I just was so amazed at the different tastes that you could get from the Thai food. And then going over there, the fresh ingredients, the chili, the lamb and the lime, really hit me and everything was super fast. I can see why you love it here. I can see why, but the next time I've got to come here with your folks and really celebrate Scratch's Records. I'm just hoping Scratch's Records can help develop artists as well as be a spot in the future for more established artists to come and be able to work with us and we can, you know, springboard their new releases, but also just working and on building up, you know, underground artists and giving them, you know, the full 
potential, helping them out to reach their full potential. I'm really just hope we can grow and build and develop a nice roster of artists who trust us to be able to work with them and push them into new places that they might not have even, you know, thought they could get to. Across the world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just, it would be so nice to continue to bring Australian music and hip hop that's made in this country from all the amazing artists, all the crazy nations and multicultural aspects of this country to be able to push that off into the rest of the world. I'm just, yeah, super excited about doing that with Scratches and just getting our music into different parts of Europe and Asia and potentially America would be like a dream just to get, just to get more notoriety for hip hop that's made in this country by amazing artists in this country. Because how, how do we fare? How do we compare against the, the, the states and Europe, etc.? I think hip hop in this country has been on a level for years, sound quality wise, that's up to standards, you know? Back in the 90s, potentially not as much money being thrown at the artists, you know, to get that sound quality up. So sonically, maybe not quite as up to scratch, but at the same time, the, the skill level was all there and the artists knew exactly what they were doing. So we've always been making dope music in Australia, like, and hip hop's always been dope, but I think it's just been pushed to the side because people don't tend to look at it as a place that, could have a hip hop culture out here until they get here and realize, wow, we're, we're backing up uh, international artists with some top quality artists. We're making albums that sound, you know, just as good as anywhere else you're gonna get in the world. So once people start understanding that and start seeing that and we give that opportunity for people to be able to get to that new audience, I'm excited about that. Scratches Records is gonna go nuts. Next piece Smurf album is gonna go out across the world. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this done. Big it up. Thanks, Boom, awesome. Smashing it. Yeah.